After six months on the run, Frank and Jesse were at last reunited with their families in Missouri. Assuming a new identity as a farmer, Jesse now became known as Mr. Howard. But Jesse and Frank continued to steal, pulling off jobs in Nebraska and Kansas. The reward for the capture and conviction of the James brothers was raised to the unheard of sum of $10,000 each, over a quarter of a million dollars in today's money. The reward would prove fatal for Jesse. Six years after the Northfield raid, Jesse James and two of his newly hired henchmen, Bob and Charles Ford, met at the outlaw's home to plan another robbery. As Jesse stood on a chair to straighten a picture on the wall, he turned his back on the two. Bob Ford seized the moment. He was killed by a traitor, a member of his own gang, in his own house with his wife and children present, shot in the back of the head while he was unarmed. Less than 40 years later, Hollywood would depict Jesse's fate. For the big reward, little Robert Ford shot Jesse James on the sly. It was Robert Ford, that dirty little coward. I wonder how he does feel. For he ate Jesse's bread, and he slept in Jesse's bed. Then he laid Jesse James in his grave. A dirty Jesse little coward that shot Mr. Howard and laid Jesse James in his grave. Uh, he was a legend already, and the legend could only grow as the actual bloodshed of the era faded away. It was the end of the line for America's most famous outlaw and the end of an era as well. Jesse's brother Frank would soon face trial for murder and robbery in the state of Missouri. A sympathetic jury would set the famous outlaw free. Cole Younger and his brothers, on the other hand, did hard time in a Minnesota prison for the crimes of the Northfield raid. In September 1889, Brother Bob died of tuberculosis. Jim and Cole were granted parole in 1901. Brother Jim committed suicide soon after. Cole Younger and Frank James, there was one last ride to share. Old men, they played together in a touring Wild West show. By 1916, the last of the James gang would be dead. But the legend would never die. A band of thieves and murderers, not exactly the hero type. Still, they're remembered not for what they did, but for how they did it. Frank and Jesse James played the game by their own rules. They were rebels, and right or wrong, one-of-a-kind originals.